As a nation, we set great store by sportsmanship. Almost all of us at some time play the game. And no matter what the game may be, it has its rules. Rules of courtesy and fairness and sportsmanship. Rules that determine the pattern of action of all who play. Each game has its code of rules, and each set of rules is known and respected by all who play and all who watch. We have come to demand fair play and sportsmanship in all things, great and small. It has become second nature, for example, for those who play golf to allow others to play through. For the bowler to carefully avoid the almost invisible foul line. For the runner to stay in his lane. The same rules of sportsmanship apply to driving an automobile. Unfortunately, there are drivers amongst us who are poor sports. Drivers who can dish it out, but can't take it. They are the wreck who cause the accidents that maim and kill. They are the offenders whose invasion of the rights of others may lead to curtailment of their own rights. For remember, I am your permit to drive, not your right to drive, for you are entitled to drive only as long as you abide by the rules of driving. The rules of driving are fundamentally simple based on common sense. Common sense safety for yourself and for others. When you're walking, for instance, say by yourself, or even with a few other people on a country road, there's room to spare and walking is no problem. But this milling throng in the heart of a great city can represent the traffic problem of today. When you look down on it, there's not much difference between a jam of people and a jam of automobiles. But when you look closely at the people, when you get down among them, you'll find there's a vast difference. As members of a group of civilized human beings, each going about his own individual business, there is a smooth surge of motion, a unity of action, and there's respect for the rights of others, a polite avoidance of contact, wholehearted cooperation and courtesy. So it can be with the milling throng of automobiles across our land. So it can be with you. Staying off the white lines. Waiting for the green lights. Stopping at the stop signs. Slowing down in school zones. Observing the traffic signs and thinking. Thinking while you drive about your driving. Keeping your mind on your driving and your eye on the road. The thinking driver, the alert driver, takes no chances with the lives of himself and others. The alert driver can avoid accidents. He can slow down, for instance, in time to protect himself and others in time to avoid the aggravation of minor damage. Damage that costs money and denies the use of the car. You pay the cost of the driving mistakes of others and they of yours in more stringent traffic regulations, in higher insurance rates. Perhaps the poor driver never learned the proper way to drive. You have more opportunity than he. You have the opportunity to learn the right way to drive the opportunity to avoid the mistakes and habits acquired by others. As a good driver, you will live to enjoy all the fruits of good driving. For I, your permit to drive, and the open sesame to a lifetime of new experience, a lifetime of new beauty, I bring wings to your feet, a freedom of motion you will learn always to cherish. I bring pleasure, and responsibility, the responsibility to drive well. 
I urge you to guard what I stand for, for I permit you to drive.